Hello Creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. A quick tip? Now quick tip videos are designed to focus in like a laser beam on one thing in a program. This way you don't have to wade through long tutorials that drone on and on to get to that nugget, that thing you've been struggling with. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. It's possible to draw anything if you can draw basic shapes. And in Illustrator, if you want to create symmetrical objects, all you need to do is create one half of the object, copy and flip it. For example, here's a tomato illustration. I'll show you the individual elements that I put on its own layer by showing the layers panel at the bottom of my workspace. You can show your layers by coming to Window, Layers. So here in my layers panel, I have the stem on its own layer and the leaves on its own layer. What you can see here is the tomato almost looks like a heart. So if you want to create a symmetrical shape, such as a heart, where one half would be identical to the other half, except for the fact that it's flipped, then you could create one half, copy, flip it, or otherwise reflect it, and you'll have the other half. What you're left with then will be a completely symmetrical object. You can see I did it here with the leaves as well. So now that I've broken down this illustration, let me show you how I created it. I'll start with the shape of the tomato. So you first begin by selecting the side that you'd like to duplicate and then flip. With it selected, you click Command or Control C to copy. Next, you can paste it in place or paste it in front or back, it's actually arbitrary, by any one of these shortcuts. Command or Control F to paste in front, Command or Control B to paste in back, or Command or Control Shift V is in Victor to paste in place. All of these are located for you under Edit. So these are some shortcuts that I highly recommend you committing to memory as you'll use them all the time. So now that it's pasted directly in front, Command or Control F, you actually don't see anything's happened. But wait, it's there. It's just that it's an identical copy directly on top of the existing side. So now we can choose Object, Arrange, Reflect. Now that it's reflected, you see here, the other side becomes apparent. You have the ability to reflect it horizontally, vertically, or with a specific angle you determine. I'm going to choose vertical. You can also opt to hide and show before you accept the transformation. Now we just need to move it over. I'm holding the shift key down to keep it on the same horizontal plane. It's here that I often will go into wire view or command or control Y to see that I have in fact overlapped my lines. Overlapping just a little bit is okay. You don't want there to be any gap. So now this is a direct reflection of the other side and I'm left with a symmetrical object. But you can also reflect objects using the reflect tool. I'll show you that with the leaves on top of the tomato. I'll come back to my layers panel and show those leaves. I'll go ahead and select the one side and delete it so that I can copy, duplicate, and flip this one side so that it's a perfect mirror on the other side. With it selected, once again, I'm going to Command or Control C to copy. I'm going to Command or Control F as in front to paste it directly on top of it. Now I can use the Reflect tool. The Reflect tool is located under the Rotate tool on your toolbar. You just click and hold and you'll see the Reflect tool right there. Now I can double click my Reflect tool to bring up my Reflect dialog box. And once again, I can choose Vertical. Clicking OK, changing the tool to the Selection tool, or black arrow at the top of my toolbar, I can hold my Shift key down and move it across. Voila! 
a symmetrical object. Now I've shown you how you can use the reflect tool as well as reflect that's under transform in the object menu. So what I have to say when I create symmetrical objects, I do it in a different way. Here's what I do. I'm going to select both the leaf and the tomato to copy command or control C and then command or control F to paste it in front. So that part hasn't changed. Here's the part that's changed. If you come to your transform menu that's in your toolbar or by coming to window transform, you can from the options menu at the top of the transform panel choose to flip horizontal or vertical as the case may be. But I choose this option, flip horizontal, and then once again, holding shift down, place it in place. In the beginning, I showed you how I had these color coded to be slightly different, but you can see that if they were the same color, you really achieve that symmetry. But if I wanted to color the stem a darker color, or this side a darker color to show some principles of flat design to emulate depth. I can just choose different colors for those sides. And that's how you can create symmetrical objects in Illustrator utilizing the reflect tool or the transform panel. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like, yes. share it with your friends, yes. and please subscribe to my channel. Sir, yes, sir. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.